Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to a new episode of Health from Huda TV. Having a beautiful smile and smiling to our brothers and sisters is actually some sort of giving a charity. Some of us do have this big, uh, beautiful smile. Unfortunately, others are shy to do this. Why is that? Because of the teeth they have, because of the bad hygiene of the mouth and the probably could be a smell or something. So taking care of the hygiene of the mouth and taking care of the hygiene and the wellness of our teeth is the topic of our episode today. With us is Dr. Ashraf Samir Rufai. Welcome Dr. Ashraf. Dr. Ashraf is a lecturer and consultant of endodontist in Al-Azhar University. Welcome Dr. Ashraf. Uh, welcome. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Alayhi salatu wa salam. I'm very happy to be here in Al-Huda. It has been um, an honor to be asked to come and I would love to come again. Inshallah. Thank you very much for coming and joining us here in our uh, program. But my question, you might not like it. Why do people are afraid of going to you, the dentist? Uh, many reasons, yeah. but the first one is the pain. The pain. Uh, we still have some archaic ideas about how painful um, going to the dentist is, but the technology has changed and it's not as painful anymore. And the second reason is uh, it's expensive. It is expensive. It's expensive. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, those uh, are the two main reasons why people don't come to the dentist. But unfortunately, some people have to come to the dentist or else they will be facing a big problem. And me too. I'll be out of money if they don't, <laughs> <laughs> if they don't come yes, to the dentist. Yes, but actually caring of the, uh, of the teeth and caring of the, the, the oral hygiene that we, we refer to as, uh, as, as uh, taking care of your teeth and your gum and all the, the, the cleanness of these teeth. Of course, it is in our religion, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. that during evolution you have to wash your mouth um, it's advised by the Prophet وسلم, in the uh, hadith. Mm -hmm. If I would have not made it hard for the people, I would have asked my nation to or my people to fluff their teeth or uh, clean their teeth with a siwak five times a day f after each prayer. Mashallah. And uh, taking care of the, uh, of the uh, teeth is uh, actually considered to be a sunnah in our religion. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, the Sunnah Rasul Rasulullah used to do it all the time. And it, it's been um, mentioned by many of the companions that the Prophet Rasulullah used to uh, be holding the suwak in his hand while he's going and coming before ablution. They used to always define him that he has the suwak and before he passed away, yes, uh, he, the, he was... Even uh, the last ca moments of Last his moments life. before he passed away, um, Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha mentioned that he asked her for a suwak and she said that she never saw him clean his teeth as much or as aggressively as he did that day before he passed away. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So our teeth, these are very precious and actually yes. if you lose it, you cannot replace oh it yes. again. Oh yes. So please tell us about what our teeth are made of and how they look like. Well, basically teeth are... Um, similar to bone mm -hmm. in structure, but much, much harder. Mm -hmm. um, we have teeth in the front, which are called the anterior teeth, and we have teeth in the back, which are called posterior teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones in front are used to cut, uh, bite food, and the ones in the back 